Welcome to the Powering Agriculture MOOC on Sustainable Energy for Food. We are very happy to have you here. The MOOC is implemented by the international initiative Powering Agriculture, an Energy Grand Challenge for Development. Within that initiative, USAID, the governments of Sweden and Germany, as well as Duke Energy and OPEC, promote clean energy solutions in the agriculture and food sector. For the MOOC, the partners are cooperating with the TH Kohn, a University of Applied Science based in Cologne, Germany. In this video, the partners of the Powering Ag Initiative point out the challenges of the Energy Food Nexus, why they joined the initiative, what the initiative has reached so far, and why they initiated this MOOC. We have to end hunger and malnutrition. We have to increase productivity in agriculture, in particular smallholder agriculture. And we have to lower the impact of agriculture on the environment and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. People need access to food, people need access to energy. In particular, they need clean energy options to produce more and produce better food. One third of the global total energy consumption is used for the production and the processing of food. This is an enormous amount. We need to raise the awareness for, the, for this potential, that the productivity in agriculture and food production can be increased by tackling this energy issue. I'd say when it comes down to these challenges in the Energy Ag Nexus, it comes down to three main points. Being able to get the financing that innovators need to actually get their products out into the field. Being able to understand the energy and water usages of the customers and farmers. And being able to actually be, they get their products and, and ideas out into the field to actually help these guys achieve their overall goals. The challenge to find really sol solutions that can be sc scaled up so we can reach more people but also that are locally adapted so, and inclusive so that we can get more people included in the development. So it's really a twofold challenge is produce more but use less energy. Well, one of the things that USAID realizes that in order to actually help farmers and aggregate businesses get access to clean energy solutions, we need to provide additional seed funding to innovators to actually help them design their ideas, scale it, and actually get it out into the field. We realize that if we're not there giving them this capital, they won't be able to succeed. So that's one of the reasons why USAID is partnering with the governments of Sweden, Germany, OPEC, and Duke Energy to fund this grand challenge to pool our resources so we can help these innovators get access to the capital they need to actually bring modern energy services to farmers and agribusinesses. The very special thing about this project is that we bring together agricultural experts and energy experts. And our experience after two years of implementation of this project is that this process of fostering cross-sectoral cooperation is very, very fruitful. We really learn from each other. It's really to reach new actors to try to um, really catalyze this development, to see what ideas, what innovative solutions are out there that we can support and that we can try to uh, help to reach scale, really. The initiative is a great way to forge new forms uh, of partnerships between public agencies and private sector enterprises from all over the world. We want to improve nutrition, we want to strengthen uh, innovation, and we want, in the end, we want to save the planet. A particular focus is on strengthening knowledge generation and knowledge transfer. It is on producing more food with less energy, and there is where our initiative, the One World No Hunger Initiative of, uh, of Germany, of VMDAT, and this International Powering Agriculture Initiative uh, come together, where is a very, very strong link. It works to translate great innovations into um, sustained economic growth, social inclusion and environmental protection. It has made awards to 24 projects uh, so far 
and we hope that more projects uh, will follow. We've got examples from our innovators like EarthSpark International. They just turned on the first mini grid in Haiti back in June of this year. Now they're providing power to the citizens of Les Anglais Haiti, as well as getting power out to the breadfruit processing factories in Haiti, as well as supplying power to a lot of the uh, commercial businesses and homes and restaurants there. We have, um, from the first call for proposal, where we had of course many great proposals to the second call where we actually expanded and had 800 proposals coming in it's also to say that we have succeeded in sort of making a case for this for this nexus it's a great learning for us as well because we have learned how to how to work with different actors as as a development agency. Let me just give you one example. The, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations is working together with us and has just finalized a study and analysis on the energy needs of three major value chains. They are rice, milk and vegetables. So they are really jumping on the topic and promoting it and they have a real, real good network because all governments of the world are member of the FAO. This massive open online course is open to everyone. So if you would like to participate in it, you're welcome. Everyone who is interested in the topic and who would like to deepen his understanding of uh, the challenges of the energy agriculture nexus uh, should join this course and subscribe to it. It gives you a great sort of background that you know you can then spin off your own ideas from to give you a sort of a sense what is out there, what ideas are out there, what is already tested, so that you don't have to invent the wheel again but to actually get a sense of you know, what, what knowledge is out there, what expertise can I use for my own ideas or what is needed in the market today. Everybody participating in this can become a member of a large group of experts working for the Energy Food Nexus for Future Development. Participants can benefit from the experience of scientists and other experts in the field of ag energy and agriculture. They can learn about different clean energy options. They can explore possible applications of clean energy technologies in agriculture value chains. They can learn about economic and political aspects of the energy food nexus. And they can exchange ideas and knowledge with an international network of like-minded fellow participants. If you're excited about innovation, if you're excited about learning from the greatest minds in the world, you should join this massively open online course. This course is designed to allow both practitioners, innovators, entrepreneurs, as well as policymakers, and just the average person at home that has an interest in this technology and wants to understand better how to design these systems, get them out into the field, and really help change lives. This course is for you. Thank you for your attention. See you next week.